<laughs> Rolling. <laughs> All right, for sure. All right, everybody. This is Myron from the Stevensons, interviewing Tay Morris, recording artist, entrepreneur, creative talent. Welcome, my brother. Thank you for having me. For real, for real. Uh, you know, Tay Morris, Tay Mo, aka Tay Mo 2.0. You know, I do me. <laughs> Nice to have you, my brother. Right, so tell us a little bit, a little bit about where you're from. Oh uh, shit, I'm from everywhere for real. I traveled. Shit, I was born in my Orange County, but I kind of raised in LA, West LA, Inglewood. You know, um, then Ventura County. So I've been all, really everywhere. I'm well traveled thanks to my parents. You know, my mom did did well for us, so she, you know, she put me in good places. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So you enjoy your time in Inglewood? Man, it was really when I was young, like, but I soaked up so much. It was like, I grew up with my grandma for real. So like, I'm a granny's baby, you know? So like, I have an old soul because of that. Right. And I think I soaked up so much that I understood more more to life growing up than I, than I know now, you know? And dealing with situations like, whoa, like, if it wasn't for those interactions and things that happened, just in walking through LA with my grandma, like a lot of things, my mind would have been different. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. you see life different when you walk through it. Right. Real, real, real talk. You know what I'm saying? We get so accustomed with being in these cars and moving through it at our own pace. We feel like, bro, it's a whole different speed. You know, you see life at a whole different speed. I get you. So, what made you become an artist? Um, really, music has been a thing in my family forever. Like, my parents were from Trinidad and Tobago. So I'm like really the first born here that's really like, you know, American raised. Um, therefore, there's a lot of my shoulders, you know, but a lot of it comes from the influence I've been given. So um, I grew up listening to soca, reggae, you know, that's for sure. But um, also like my step pops also used to also play like all type of music, like Robin Thicke. Like, so me growing up, I used to hear like different, different sounds. Um, my brother did music. My rest in peace, Kevin. But like, for real, like growing up, when it came to events, in my pop's house, we used to be like, he used to rap, I used to dance. So I was really into like crumping back in the day. So I, I wasn't even really with the music, like with the, the rapping. That was more like, I was like, nah, I'm gonna just dance. You know, I felt like that's where I could win. Right, right, I feel you. Here I am man. now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> As far as your, your songs go, tell me what would be your favorite one out of the bunch. Uh, out of what? That I've made? Yeah. Man, to be real, that, that I put out? Yeah. Um, Cause I got so many new ones, I'm like, mm. Mm. That catalog, when I drop, the catalog would change. That, that answer would change, you feel me? But um, I think, I mean, all of them have a different meaning to me, you know, so I can't really say I have a favorite. Uh, I would say memories. The reason why is because that's the first thing I ever dropped. It was a tribute to my brother and my grandma because, like, I understood what life was about at a young age when it came to death and things of that nature, like, and appreciate people. You know, I see people, I think nowadays we see people as, like, like you know, what can you do for me or, like, like a number, you know, and I grew up in a different, different era. You know, I feel like I still have that with me today. Mm -hmm. And that being said, um, really like my favorite song would probably be Memories. Cause I, that song I dropped on SoundCloud, bro, real true, true story. I dropped on SoundCloud back in like 2017, 18, bro. I just was like, okay, I'm gonna put it out. I'm gonna start putting out music, like fuck it. And this is like a year after, a year or two after my brother had passed. You know what I'm saying? He, he had died. and. Um, it was suicide, that's what they said, so. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, bro, it's part of life, right? I wouldn't be here today with this interview had it not happened. Right, so it'd be like, you know, that's, that's a blessing in disguise. That's how you have to really see it because I feel I feel it more now than I did when he was alive, you know? So that's one of them series where it's like, hey, I could be with you here rather than over there, you feel me? So, but long story short, um, so I dropped the song, bro. It's like, I get, it's me and the homie, I'm sick, bro. I, and I'm just like, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I come home from, I'm, I'm at Morehouse right now. 
I'm in Morehouse. I, mm -hmm. I just go to college. It's my first year of college. And I come back home, I'm sick. And I don't know why, I just got like this random flu, right? And so I'm in the bed, I'm listening to music. That's when I really started wanting to write. write. Cause I've been doing poetry since I was like 12, but I really wanted to start writing like music. And this beat just hit me, bro. I'm on YouTube, I hit the beat, I'm like, what the fuck? And I mean, to the point where I'm, I'm writing it and crying, bro. It's weird. Like, I never felt my spirit awakened to this point. I have the, like, you know what I'm saying? I have the chills writing this. Like, Whoa, like, it's relieving. It's a therapeutic sense. And I was like, whoa, this is deep. So now music became, that was when music became deeper to me. That song was when music became like, okay, my reality. It was like, okay, so this is how I'm going to proceed because I know I can, if it's moving me, it can move somebody else, you know? Okay. And that's mainly the point why I do it. It's not even for the bread and all like that. It's more so like, yo, I know what, it, what music did for me growing up as a kid, like, you know? Mm. So that being said, when I made that song, I dropped, we ended up, I ended up recording the homie Max, Max Fun. Shout out Max Fun. Hey, can I drop in a whole bunch of new shit? Like, his visuals is on a point where he take his time. Like, he ain't even dropped the shit he really got, bro. But that, he's a, he's like one of them angels I, that was sent to me. Like, him and his mom and his family, hey, thank y'all. For real. But, um, so I recorded at his bro house, right? At his, hey, Max, I'm here for winter break. Uh, let me record at your crib. Cool. Bam. Knock it out. Mind you, I'm like sick, bro. So I'm like, this whole song is on the sick vocal. But it was just my, my, I just had to get it out. And while I'm recording it, I'm feeling myself jerk. I'm like, hold up, hey, we're cut it back, bro. You feel me? I'm like, ooh, it's catching me. You feel me? Like, damn, it's different right now. So we get it done, and I'm back in the A right now. I'm, I'm in my homie, uh, Alex. Man, pfft. Hey, Alex, you know, I slept on your couch so many times, bro. Thank you. But, <laughs> but for real, I'm at his house, and then he sent me the file, bro. And it just, I realized like the combination of a manifest and I heard it and I like the songs I would go lick, seeking to feel this feeling I now made, you know? And that's when I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drop it. And it wasn't even fully mastered at that point. We just dropped it. Yeah. And um, it was on SoundCloud, bro. Told me it hit like 30K plays in like two months, a month and a half. Once it hit like 45, bam. I get this fucking email from SoundCloud like, oh, your song has now been um, taken off for copyright. What the fuck? Hold up. I hit the, when I, before I even recorded it, I already hit the dude like, hey, bro, I'm gonna use, it was a free beat. I'm like, hey, I'm using recording. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So we had already talked kind of, you know what I'm saying? But he had never told me that he had sampled the shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like not his rightful sample. But long story short, Drop the song, nigga, I get an email from Sony the next day. After the song Klaus takes the song off, I get an email from Sony. When you get a cease and desist? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. mind you, I'm like, the first, I'm not making no money off this shit. Like, yeah, I don't understand what I don't understand, what understand how to, I didn't under, but that told me, okay, keep going. <laughs> you feel me? Like, right. what else is you going to say at that point? Hey, Fresh, you caught the attention of something. <laughs> like, way, way better. Way, way more. That's right. That's right. So, that's my favorite song. If the answer, my bad. No, you're good. <laughs> I'll be right. If that's your answer, that's, that's your answer. That's where my mind go. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, damn, like, as I go through the process of me, you know what I'm saying? I had to go deep, like, real quick. What is my favorite? Like, you ask me something, I didn't even think myself. I got you. So, I appreciate you, for real. No problem. So as far as as far as like the inspiration, you right. explain what the inspiration was behind that one particular song. But if you had say a motivation, a drive, a, a fuel to the fire, what would that be as far as making you make music? Shit, my nephew Aiden. You know. Tell me a little bit about him. Shit, I, really, I can't even tell you much to be so real. Uh, my brother passed, and like I didn't get to have a come you know, communication with him because his mom lived in Germany, so that's a different situation. But like, long story short, it's like that let me know that let me know that I have I have a lineage to look after, bro. You know, like my brother was somebody I looked over, looked at, looked up to like a father in a way. Like I didn't, I played football because I watched my brother play football. I, I 
I felt confident to even think of rapping because I saw my brother do it. Like, he's, and beyond him, like, I mean, he recorded real music, bro. Like, that's timeless to this day. Like, but beyond that, like, just watching him just aimlessly drive. We just drive to the mall. I, he rapped the whole way on a Jay Z beat, or like, he just rapped like over and make it pff, better than the nigga singing it. Like, you know. So I think that, I think the longing for that feeling continued in me, you know, like, that's kind of how it went. I see you got this Misunderstood shirt on. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, shit. Uh, it's from our brand, 2.0. You know what I'm saying? 2.0, that's what we do. Level up. You know there's more to life. Um, but the Misunderstood part is because, you know, people like me and you or even when it comes down to the, where we are, we were where we are at twenty twenty one, right? When it comes to race and dynamic and things of that nature, we all are walking misunderstood people. We don't ever know nobody until we actually tap into what's going on in their lives. We don't know that, and uh, you know, I feel like that's something we we all wear. We all misunderstood until somebody actually want to take the time to understand who we really are, and I mean who we really are. You know, like beyond the, as humans, we kind of are onions. We really are. We have layers. And it's like, who who are you to the core? Rarely people take the time to understand that about each other, you know? And that, that's what comes with more misunderstandings because there comes expectations with who we think we want them to be. You know, but I don't even know who you really are. You that's feel right. me? So right. like, like, you know, the, the motto is really leaders of the misunderstood. You know, we all are leaders in our own right. And I feel like, um, you know, you just have to be one to teach one as well, so. I try to, I, that's what I am, the leader of the misunderstood, you know, like, it's okay. I feel like if nobody understand me, it's cool. But you gonna understand me, and somebody gonna feel this at one point, you know. You can't act like you don't feel it because you in your ego, but at one point, the depth of your real core is gonna hit you, you know. So that's how I feel, and that's what 2.0 is, you know. Knowing there's more to life, there's more depth than where you are, there's more that. You know, there's a second level to where you are in life at any point. That's some deep shit right there. Real talk. How many people on that kind of wave, on that kind of thinking path, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be, and, and I don't want to sound like the old man, you know, but I feel right, like, right. I, I, honestly, I feel like, you know. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like everybody walking around with these, you know, cellular devices and able to type what they want to on these social media platforms, you know, and hide, you know what I mean? You, there's right. no responsibility, no accountability for what you, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. stirring the pot. So I mean, I, I don't mean to cut you off. No, no, no. I'm listening. For I real. feel like you know, if we if we didn't have such such you know high demand information or such massive amounts of information on hand, you know, whatever we want, you know what I'm saying? We would take that time to engage with, a, with another individual. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know, uh, you ain't worried about the the, low, uh, the latest Lakers score. You you see this lady, me helping her bags, that type of stuff. Yeah, it's the simple things, you know, maybe I'm thinking too deep into it, but, you know. Nah, problem is people ain't thinking deep enough. Yeah, I agree. And it's now, it's like, oh, why are you thinking so deep, but why is it not so deep? Because of the point, at the point, bro, when all this technology gone, my nigga, or it <laughs> then turns on us, who we gonna look towards to help each other, to help? I ain't gonna look to no fucking robot, how you gonna know you can trust a robot? You can't feel no vibration from when I, what the fuck, my nigga? As there's a human vibration that we have, that we carry, that we understand each other. You can understand somebody who's deaf. Mm -hmm. And somebody who's blind can see where they're going. So you can't tell me there's, no, there's nothing deeper than this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The human body is amazing in many ways. Thank you. So as far as new projects, what you, what you got in the works? Um, I was supposed to drop some shit, like, really, like, beginning of the year. But I had, you know, like, life transitions, you know what I'm saying? Like... I'm gonna keep it funky. Like I don't really have everything together when it comes to this music. Like I do, I do have everything together. But when I'm saying it, like I'm learning it as I go, cause I don't have no. When I'm saying like this is just me, you know what I'm saying? Like I, this is just me. Everything when you get clothing for me and shit, bro, that's just me. Like that's no lie. You feel me? So when I mean like that, like I'm wearing many hats. It's better said. You know what I'm saying? I have everything together, I'm just wearing many hats. So, I'm learning how to position my time. Um, but better said, I do have a project that's already, it's in the process of being mastered right now. 
Um, we're going over some fine tunings, but it's been ready. We just wanted, I just wanted to add, really, I'm, I'm particular, like, when I put things out, I want it to be what I feel. You know, I want, I, I listen to my own shit, because I feel like it's not even a trajectory to myself to, like, I mean, I do listen to my sound and things of that nature, but it's more so, like, it motivates me, truthfully. So, like, you know, it's my life. I don't just say it, just to say shit. Right. So, um, but yeah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna have like I'm thinking of maybe putting putting out something like on SoundCloud, three to four songs like called Granny's Boy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's from Mother's Day, so I kind of want to do that. But to be real, like like I said, going through life transitions as I go, so that's what it is, you know. But it's coming soon, coming soon before the summer for sure. All success with that, man. Thank you. So, what brought you out here to Vegas? Uh, shit. Honestly, difference of life, cheaper expenses. Um, when it comes to budgeting, I have a, I'm budgeting myself on a different, different round. You know, I'm getting into stocks, crypto, so things of that nature. So I'm looking to have more money to play with. Uh, you know, being from my life, there's a lot of things that are <laughs> more expensive. Gas is one. Shit, living expenses. So, um, I feel like being mindful as an independent artist, funding my own shit. Yeah, you got to make sure your money work for you. But I be out of, I, you know, I, I, I be in different places too. Like, I reside here, but I got other places I be at. It just be like, you know, it's cool to move around here. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know. A couple days ago, man, I was halfway across the country. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, but like, but that's what I'm saying. But, like, I wouldn't be able to do that without having, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. So, that's why. That's me being real. <laughs> real talk. So, how can people reach me? Where would they be able to find me? Uh, shit. Oh, I, Spotify. Yeah, Tay Morris or Tay Mo 2.0. Um, T A Y M O space 2.0. Um, or on Instagram, who is Tay Morris? Um, same one, Twitter. I ain't got nothing else for real, for real. So you can reach me there. I'll, I'll tap back in with you if you're serious. You know, I'll be on that weird foo foo shit. So. You definitely can get bl and will get blocked. So please don't hit me with no bullshit. Man. <laughs> yeah, if you if you some random skeezer trying to do some shit, yeah, uh, bye. I'm about some money. So if we talking some real shit, talk to me. You know, right, right. Um, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm not looking to waste time with nobody. You know, my home. I feel that. I feel that. Well, we do have a second part to the situation. Yeah, you gonna perform the song with your choice? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got a little, you know, a little, uh, little joint. You know, it's off the new, the new project, um, Granny's Boy. But um, you know, it's just about life, seeing shit from a different perspective. You know, it's called Eldorado Dreams. You know, so we gonna go ahead and get into it. Well, right. you know, thank you for, for real having me. I really appreciate the whole vibe, energy, and like. You reaching out, hey, it's love. You already know, like, whenever it is, it is, you know? Yeah, yeah, you so. know, I just want to extend a hand off her brother helping, you know, the, you know, leg up type shit. Hey, you know bro, what I mean? that's what we on. Each yeah. one to teach. That's, that's about to set in your mind, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, but. They got this African proverb called Ubuntu. It's called, the meaning behind it is, I am because we are. You know mm. what I mean? Amen. There's no success that I could claim, you know what I mean, without the help of others around me. Right. Real facts. Hey, that's how I go. I take a village, right? That's why I say take a village, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. So, we all are children. We just think we're adults. Right. Real talk. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mind. Come take a ride. Take a ride. Yeah. Huh. Look. Time off. Huh. They know. Yeah. Huh. Open your mind, yeah, and see my elder brother dream, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm realizing this life ain't really what it seems. No, no, ain't what it seems like. Open your eyes. 
huh? Come take a ride, take a ride. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I was stagnated and aggravated. Was past patience till I realized that God was waiting for me to say it. Yeah. Like I'm thankful for this new day, huh? I woke up and now I'm thinking about some new things, cuz Like when I get that big house on the hill, I will it feel if I ain't got no one around me that's gonna keep it real. That's why I stay grounded riding on these four wheels. Cause the spokes that I roll give a nigga sex up. P.O. Shit. But like bananas, we just peel off into sound rises. Or giving praise to people that we lost in gun violence. Cause now we feel it in our Spirits, it will never be the same. Like the velvet on this ceiling. <laughs> it's authentic, ain't no fraud in it. Kept the shit jumping like a motherfucking frog in it. I see it clearly now, there really ain't no fog in it. Never been a blurry visionary, I was all in it. And nothing like them rapping niggas, they be all gimmicks. Selling y'all lies, selling y'all lies for a false image. Like, ain't it funny, y'all, they play us, yeah. Open your eyes, begin to realize that it's amazing, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. Open your eyes, yeah. Come see my elder ride your dreams, yeah. Oh yeah, come take a ride, yeah. And see my elder ride your dreams, yeah. Huh. Huh. Open your mind, baby. And see my elder ride your dreams, yeah. Shit, oh, I'm realizing this life ain't really what it seems. No, no. Yeah, it's cash yeah. rules everything around me. It's hard to stay grounded when only sharks that he trying to drown me. Always got to watch for the snakes that's around me. Always get cold when you alone in the dark sea. And nothing like the ocean, nigga. Stay in motion, do my own thing. Creating my own wave. I was floating and I maintain through all the bullshit and commotion. And I pray to God I know defeat the odds and I'ma go in. Yeah, nigga, stay blowing California potent. I got the potion, my nigga. You know I gotta go in, yeah. And I ain't even had to go in. I'm going up the dome, in case you wonder how I go in. Bitch. <laughs> It's 2.0, yeah, hey, girl. Open your eyes, yeah. Come see my elder Rado dreams, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come take a ride, yeah. And see my elder Rado dreams, yeah. Huh. Huh. Open your mind, baby. Right? And see my elder Rado dreams, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm realizing this life ain't really what it seems, oh no. Yeah, hey, yeah. Say, open your eyes, open your eyes, don't take a walk, yeah, 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 Going for a little brown shit, yeah, ay. I had to get it out of town, shit, yeah, ay. Look, I'm around here, yeah, yeah. Ha, ay. Open your mind, baby. Ha, take a ride, yeah, yeah. Ha, 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 in my other water, yeah. Yeah. Hey, mom. Come see my other water, Black business, 
Black business, black business. Oh, oh, please don't tell me. Black business, black business. We about to shine. I'ma need all my ears, please. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Motherfucker, please don't tell me. No, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'ma need all my ears, please. Yeah. What the fuck you do? Black business, please. Black business. Black Bennies, Black Bennies. Uh, <laughs> all I see is all black bennies in my rear view. Looking at this life shit, I got it with a clear view. Trying to get it right, probably why I ain't near you. Picturing in my mic, motherfucker, I can't hear you. Like who was that? Like who was Tay Morris on the track? That boy that stay with his smooth flow. Like do that for that cone yet? And shit, let's go ahead and take a shot and give a toast to the struggle. Cause we finally headed to the top. I'm in my zone a long way from happy home, but what's happy when you really? Y'all alone, treat a nigga like a dog, had to go and get a bone And I had to quit the job, nigga going for my own Talking all black business, nigga, so please, please don't tell me, nigga Cause I'm way too close to the fucking itch Young nigga being loped out in the fucking head Smoking on this young black wood, you know I'll get it, bitch <laughs> you know, I put you niggas straight to bed. Sleepy time, nigga. Your eyes switch 16 to 6. I mean, all these sweet 16s put you niggas like Swiss cheese when it comes to this dream. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker, play don't tell me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey. Cause all I see is black business, black business, black business. Oh, oh, please don't tell me. Black business, black business, we about to shine. I'ma need all my ears, please. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Motherfucker, please don't tell me. No, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'ma need all my ears, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause all I see is black business, black business, black business. Hey, huh, real. Hey, I'm looking at it, clip, yo, yeah, yeah. Black business in my rib, yo. They got me looking with a clip, yo. Looking with a clip, yo, yeah. Huh, hey, to my mic up. Probably why I probably can't hit you, girl. Ha, real. Hey. <laughs> Black bandies in my rip, yo. Got me looking with a clip, yo. Yeah, yeah. These black bandies in my rip, yo. They got me looking with a clip, yo. Looking with a clip, yo. Yeah. Real. 2.0 shit. Yeah. If you ain't know this, I bet you finna know this. Yeah. Hey. Thank you for having me. For real. Hey. Say my. Say now.